Once I had a friend that thought, you know, he was told that it was his responsibility to make sure everybody found out about Jesus. So he packed his family up and went off down to South America. Of course, he'd been told that by some preacher. And uh, by the time he got out of there, he was ready to beg him to let him out of the country. He took his whole family down there. He was going to tell them the gospel. He, they believed in the Great Commission. It was given to the uh, everybody. Not saying we can't share Jesus with everybody when the Holy Spirit leads. I'm just saying this, that this so-called Great Commission, it's been laid on the backs of all God's people <laughs> to uh, fulfill. It's already been fulfilled, and it was given to the apostles. So I'm going to play this little short video so because I don't have a, I don't have to go back and do it all over again. But anyway, give it a listen if you want to, if you got time here in, in the uh, afternoon here. Anyway, you look, you can look into some of those things. Well, and uh, 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 but anyway, I was going to go in into this thing about uh, somebody was asking me the question about uh, uh, gospel, uh, uh, the, the gospel. Uh, to whom was the so-called Great Commission given? That's a video that y'all might want to look up. There's two of them. This. To whom was the so-called Great Commission given? And to who, who was the, the Great Commission given? Those two videos. And I, I, I go into that and tell you all the reasoning behind it. But I never did put, you know, I want to put this one on this video so maybe if anybody's watching it, they can see, they can get right into it and see why I don't believe that the Great Commission, so-called Great Commission, is given to his body at large. You see what I'm saying? The poor little old sinner that just now found, found out about Jesus and he's got to go out and save the whole world. That's not, you know, that's just, uh, that's the version of the enemy, brothers and sisters. It, this is what I'm saying here. The gospel was given to the apostles. They had special powers and they were given these powers. They, uh, they were witnesses. They were eyewitnesses of, of Jesus Christ. You're not a witness. You're a believer by faith. Say you're a believer. Uh, you haven't seen Jesus. All the apostles seen Jesus. He said, "You shall be my witnesses." Say these. This was given especially to the apostles, in my view. Now, you can share, share Jesus with anybody you that the Holy Spirit leads you to share Jesus with. But it, it becomes a burden when you take your family off and bet down to uh, some foreign country and you find out you wasn't sin. That's happened to a lot of people. Anyway, anyway, here, well, here it goes. Uh, here, here's why I believe that the gospel, the the getting this this great commission everybody talks about, and they use it in in Matthew uh, 16 chapter of Mark. Shoot, they use it in 16 chapter of Mark to uh, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Okay, let's just get the creature part right here. Let's get. You see, let, where is the creature part? See. Go into our law and preach the gospel to every creature. Of course, he's addressing his apostles right here. Not you. He's addressing the apostles. And he says, and it says in Colossians, it says, And be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard and which and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven. Past tense. That's Colossians 1 23, brothers and sisters. They're here and they're talking back and forth here in the scripture. And it, and it had already been accomplished in the first century, brothers and sisters, which was preached in, to every creature. There's your creature, see, brothers and sisters, in, my, in Mark 16. And then it says, go into all the world. Where's your world? It says, for the hope, be not moved, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, which of ye have heard from in the word of the truth of the gospel. It, here, this is in Colossians 1, 5, and 6 of the gospel, which coming to you as it is into all the world. There is your world, St. Brother said. Colossians 1, 5, and 6. This gospel was preached to every creature in heaven. Uh, you and It's not laid on the poor sinner's back to get it, get it done. People that want it, God wants you to find out about Jesus, you're going to find out about Jesus, God, God's son, Jesus. The, the, uh, it's gone out through all the world right now. But, and uh, ever how you find out about Jesus, that's good, you know. Mm -hmm. I had a flawed account when I found out about it. 
I thought there was a whole lot you had to do, you know, but I didn't realize that, that, that the gospel didn't, that, that I didn't, I believed in gospel regeneration, like they, they taught us, that you had to go convince, you had to go knock on somebody's door and, uh, and scream at them on the side, on the sidewalk and tell them they're going to hell, stuff like that. That's what's going on now. But no, that's not the way it's done, brother and sister. I'll right, we'll go over this one more time with this last minute. The Holy Spirit, in God's appointed time, the Holy Spirit, like the wind, blows to that loved of God center. And he goes and he gives them eternal life. He comes into their heart and quickens them to eternal life. And they're born again right then, whether they'd heard the gospel or the good news about Jesus Christ or not. Little babies can't hear and believe the gospel, but, but it, no, heaven will be full of them. Of people that died before they even came out of their mother's womb and uh they his. And then people and people you don't even know about. God's mercy is so rich that you just gonna be real surprised, brother and sister. But anyway, just wanted to get out of here and pray and bring you some good news, tell you what I'm looking at and what I believe what I believe in. But uh just uh have a good day and uh look in. Well, that probably ruffled a few feathers out there, but I thought I'd put it out there. Uh, I might look up a little song here now. Have the second song of the day and the third song of the day. But uh, that's the way I think I'm going to do it now because it's a painful process <laughs> to go and, and, and redo uh, all the my old videos <laughs> like uh that uh Pettit said and was he said it was a painful process to look it up to do it all over that high tech uh, stuff we had back in the 60s they can't do it now but like i say kids around day they got phones all my little grandbabies are getting phones now they can look up and say what granddaddy is saying on these on these uh on the internet and uh, so that's going to be my little uh, way to uh, communicate to the little, and maybe they won't have to go through what Granddaddy went through when he was coming along. But anyway, I'm going to look for a song now and uh, end this video with a song, the song of the day. It might start out with a song of the day, but this will be the second song of the day. And uh, I'll be, I'm going to look one up right now. I used to uh, have these re reoccurring dreams. And in the dream, I was a stranger in this town. Everybody I talked to, I didn't know them. They were all, they couldn't get out of the town because nobody knew the way to get out. But anyway, everybody in the town was strange used to have that. And I didn't know somebody had wrote a song about it. Finally, I, I uh, heard this song done on the internet. But, uh, I used to have that dream all the time. It's called Rain Stranger. Maybe some of you, some of y'all out there feeling like one too, you know, in this present evil world. Injuries. <laughs> I found they were all 
ain't strangers to me. I ain't strangers to me. They've all moved away, said the voice of a stranger, to the beautiful home by the bright crystal sea. Some beautiful day, I'll meet them in heaven. afternoon video every time I get a chance I'll try to you know when I'm not working I'll try to put uh, something up for people to listen to something that brings liberty well peace love peace love from this old boy down here in Alabama <clears throat>